Good morning. How is everybody doing? Uh, we're going to start with our beginner class in two more minutes live. Um, hopefully, I get to see you. And um, let me go get a glass of water and we should start shortly. See you in a little bit. Namaste and welcome. I'll be right with you. Okay, one more time. Welcome to Online Drishti. Uh, today is a beginner class. So I see that not many people is connecting yet. Uh, we have four people. Welcome. Remember, you can send your comments at any time about the class or what we're doing. Um, blanket, your cushion, and your mats ready. We still have one more minute if you need to get one of your props get them right now right now is a good moment to do that empezamos con nuestra clase de principiantes este por ahí si te quieres poner tu colchoncito tu cobija todo lo que necesites para empezar un vasito con agua este ay pues qué emoción estar con este proyecto what a joy to be with this project so many people is connecting all over and it's so exciting. Muchísima gente se está conectando de muchas partes y nos da mucha emoción eh, poderlos ayudar. Ay, disculpen si por ahí muevo la pantalla. Please, sorry if I move the screen up and down according to where we are standing or sitting. I have to do some movement. Okay, let's ready, begin. Uh, if you've never done yoga before, and this is a truly beginner class, please know that no expectations is no disappointments. Si nunca has hecho una clase de yoga en tu vida, entonces me dirijo a ti que no esperes demasiado, no esperes nada para que no te desilusiones. Um, yoga eh, has a lot of stigmas, a lot of misconceptions that it has to be this very flexible, challenging practice. And the only thing I can let you know, if you've never done this before, is yoga is this opportunity to be with yourself, into your body, and to experience a self-connection moment. Por ahí a lo mejor hay muchos este, como clichés alrededor de la yoga que tienes que ser súper flexible, súper fuerte para practicar. Y bueno, invitándote a que entiendas que la yoga es esta experiencia de conexión interna. No importa tu habilidad física, no importa tu edad. Lo único que importa es que tengas ganas de estar adentro de ti y de tu cuerpo. So let's begin in sitting. This is cross-legged position. You can see one foot is in front of the other and the heels are close to your groins. Some people will feel the knees high up there. Absolutely normal. Sit on top of a surface or a cushion. Te vas a sentar arriba de un colchón or de una cobija doblada. Fly might give you a little bit of more room to straighten the spine. First yoga principle you're going to learn. You breathe better if you're longer in your spine. Vas a respirar mejor, a sentirte mejor creando espacio en tu espina dorsal. On the next inhale, bring the shoulders up, up, up. En la siguiente inhalación, hombros hacia arriba. And on the exhalation, bring the shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhalamos, hombros arriba, una rotación rica. Exhala, hombros atrás y abajo. Inhale, shoulders rotate up. Exhale, shoulders rotate down. 
now right here you're gonna focus in your breath keep the sitting pose that you feel comfortable with this is mine and how i feel nice vas a mantener la posición en piernitas cruzadas que se sienta a gusto y vamos a empezar a respirar how to breathe we have in common that we breathe es lo único en nuestra anatomía que tenemos igual que todos respiramos. But the question will be how you breathe. La respuesta sería ¿Cómo respiras? If you have never done yoga before or workshops that help you with breathing, sometimes your breathing can be very shallow, staying on the top of your lungs. A veces gente que no tiene conocimiento profundo acerca de la respiración, por ahí respira nada más en la parte muy superficial de los pulmones, haciendo la respiración corta. Sometimes when you breathe short, you can be guided to anxiety, descubriendo toda la capacidad pulmonar que tienes. How you're going to do this is dividing your torso in three parts the first part is on the midsection into groin to belly second part is belly to thorax and third part is thorax to throat vamos a separar la parte de tu thorax en tres primera parte es del pubis al ombligo la segunda del ombligo al thorax y la tercera del thorax a la garganta So we're going to breathe, and on the inhale, you're going to try to fill up those three parts from bottom to top. Vamos a inhalar, y en la inhalación vas a tratar de llenar de aire esas tres partes mencionadas de abajo para arriba. Cierra tus ojos. Close your eyes. Exhale first. Exhale. Fill up from the thorax to the chest. Continue breathing, going up into your throat, all the way, all the way, all the way. Do a small pause, a small retention, hold. Retienes poquito. Y en la exhalación, you're going to feel that your lungs empty, empty empty letting go of all toxins that you might have they're ready to leave your body en la inhalación respiras profundo y costado and breathe up to your throat all the way up all the way up full breath and exhala 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 Apologize again if you're hearing my kids on the background from time to time. Maybe they haven't closed the door upstairs. Breathe. Una disculpa si escuchan a mis niñitos por ahí corriendo en la parte de arriba de mi casa. Remember, we are doing the best. All right, bring your hands into prayer. Let's salute after a guided breath. Om Shanti Shanti. Namaste and welcome. We're going to lift up and relax the legs in front of you. Shake your legs. Vamos a relajar las piernas. Y vamos a iniciar con unos ejercicios de calentamiento y estiramiento. You're going to come off your cushion. And we're going to warm up a little bit. So right here into butterfly position. We are going to let the feet move away in a beautiful diamond shape. And if you need to be seated again, mine as well, sit up again. If one of your knees hurt, prop it with a cushion or with a blanket. Now, right here, put your hands on the ground. Vamos a dejar las manos en el suelo. And right here, let the right ear relax over the right shoulder. Vamos a dejar que el oído derecho se relaje sobre el hombro derecho. If you're not a beginner and you want to do something more energetic, remember we're saving all of our classes live. There are few uh, vinyasa classes already with Oli and me. Acordándote que si tienes ganas de algo más vigoroso en nuestro canal, tenemos también clases más avanzadas en vinyasa o en hatha con Oli conmigo. 
stretch in your neck. Please try not to pull. Just gently place your hand there and stretch. Continue breathing. Sigue respirando. Good. Take another inhale. Release your hand onto the ground. And on the exhale, chin to your chest. Head drops down. En la exhalación, nos paramos en el medio. Con barbilla en tu pecho, estirando la parte de atrás de tu cuello. Manos al suelo, hands down to the ground. Keep breathing. And on the next inhale, rotate left ear over the left shoulder. Vamos a rotar el hombro hacia la oreja. Y aquí con en tu manita estiras tantito. Stretch your hand. And you're not going to pull. No vas a jalar. Just letting gravity stretch your neck. Dejando que gravedad estire tu cuello. Respira. Respirando. Inhalas. Exhalas. Suelta tus labios. Relax your lips. Relax your hand back to the ground. Let the chin relax into your chest. And interlace your hands on the round part of your skull. Vamos a entrelazar las manos en la parte redonda de tu cabeza. On the next inhale, you're going to open. Vas a inhalar. And try to open elbows as well. Vas a abrir los codos y levantar el pecho. Lift up your chest all the way up. All the way up. Look up where the wall and the ceiling meet. Mirando hacia arriba, a donde la pared se encuentra con el techo. Extensión, stretch. Your back right now here is open. This is a sitting extension, una extensión sentado. Inhalo. En la exhalación, vamos a soltar on the exhalation, we're going to close. You're still in butterfly position. If you need to shake a leg, you should. And now on the next inhale, the right arm goes up. And on the exhale, move your hand away from you. Vas a dejar que tu mano vaya caminando de ladito, de ladito. Plant your hand onto the ground. Plantas tu mano, haces tracción hacia el lado derecho. Y el brazo derecho se va hacia el lado izquierdo. So you do traction over to the right side and your top arm stretches. What not to do is to sink into this pose and be looking like this. You want the shoulder open, the arms straight, and find beautiful alignment into your body. Evita irte jorobado y con el brazo al frente tuyo. Quieres tu brazo estirado, estirado. Another thing that might be happening, otra cosa que puede pasar, esa rodilla arriba. Lower, anchor your hip to the ground and stretch. Another thing that might be happening, the shoulder climbing up. Put the shoulder down, create a neck. Con cuellito, con brazo estirado, cadera al suelo. On the next inhale, you're going to go up, lift. On the exhale, bring your hand down. El otro lado en español. The same thing, but in Spanish. Inhalo el brazo arriba. En la exhalación nos vamos poco a poquito, poco a poquito, de ladito y aterrizas en tu mano. Ya que aterrizaste en tu mano hacia el lado derecho. Any asymmetrical stretch needs polarities. Cada estiramiento del lado izquierdo anclada al piso y tu brazo izquierdo hacia el lado derecho para darte un estiramiento completo en intercostales, en cintura. A complete stretch into your intercostal muscles, into your ribs. Nice. On the next inhale, go up. Inhalamos. Vámonos todo para arriba. Todo para. Si eres principiante, a lo mejor sientes que luego, luego te tienes que parar y más si no has estirado en mucho tiempo. Por favor, respeta tu cuerpo. If you're a beginner, you might find that right away you get locked into your hips. This is absolutely normal, especially if you're a beginner, especially if you haven't stretched in a long, long time. So be patient. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to try to go straight. Que se te pincha la espalda baja. 
Hands could be on the ground to help you stop. Manos se pueden ir al suelo para ayudarte a parar. Maybe this is it. Quizás encontraste ahí tu límite. Maybe some of you can go farther down. Breathe five times. Count them. Respira cinco y las cuentas. Siempre que hacemos flexión al frente, el aire naturalmente lo sientes más en tu espalda. When you do flexions forward, back. breathe into mid back, breathe all the way into your upper back. In each exhalation, you fall down deeper if you can. Three more breaths, tres respiraciones más. Una vértebra a la vez, de abajo para arriba, one vertebra at the time, from bottom to top, start to roll up. Using your hands, vamos a usar las manos si lo necesitas. Going up, going up, going up, and when you get up, lengthen, vámonos arriba, levantas, levantas, estiras. Y cierras. Let's put the knees together one more time, and if it feels good, do a windshield wiper. Las rodillas hacia arriba y si se siente rico, haces tu parabrisas. Las rodillas de un lado hacia el otro. Ok. A little bit challenging. If you want something that won't challenge you and restful, then you have to do gentle yoga. Si quieres por ahí algo que no te rete tanto y algo más simple para descansar, entonces vete a gentle. En beginner también ponemos un poquito de reto. We're going to fold your blanket, put it underneath the knees, and go into all fours. Right here, we have to learn. I'm going to take my top up a bit so you can see. What is to have neutral spine, open spine, and round spine? So this is my back normal. I'm not pushing any alignment there. It's just the natural curves on my back. When you go into round spine, you look like this. Okay, the head is down. You scoop and scoop and scoop. Now let's go back to neutral again. Neutral doesn't mean flat. This is flat. And this is not natural for your spine. You need to have gentle curves. And how do you look when you are into an upper face? You're going to push away and look up. So both cervical curve is open and lower back is open. Aquí te vas a fijar que al abrir y extender mirando hacia arriba sentirás estiramiento en la curva de tu cuello, en la cervical. Y al levantar los isquiones o los huesos de las sentaderas vas a sentir estiramiento en tu espalda baja. That's important to know. If you don't get this, probably cat cow is not as effective as it can be. So let's take a deep inhale here. And on the exhale you're going to switch to your round spine or what we call angry cat. Push away, stretch your shoulders. Inhala, levanta, lift up, chest up. Isquiones suben, miras hacia arriba, estiras toda tu espalda. En la exhalación, succión del estómago, del ombligo hacia ti, te haces curvo y redondo. De nuevo repites, inhala, and chest up. And last time on the exhalation, we're going to curl your back, curl your back. En la inhalación, back to neutral. And on the exhale, sit back for a moment. Shake one hand. Sueltas una mano y sueltas la otra. Especially beginners that they don't do yoga, they will find sometimes the wrist a little bit sore. Well, you're not used to putting your hand this way, so it will be a novelty for your body to work like this. So it's absolutely normal. Si te dolieron las muñecas, eres principante, es absolutamente normal. Pues no estás acostumbrado a este alineamiento, no te asustes. Once you've got enough, you're going to go back to all fours, and we're going to take this to the next level. We're going to bring the knees together. Vamos a llevar las rodillas juntas. Tuck the toes under, and you're going to do the same flow, but with one leg dancing. We call this dancing cat. 
So let's start with an inhale, lifting head and chest up. Right leg goes back and up. See the line is like an arrow. You're not doing this. This is not good for your back. You stay here. On the exhale, you go into angry cat, knee into your forehead and scoop. Inhale, pierna. Now I love to say this, Spanglish, a little bit of both. Inhale, arriba, como una flecha. Exhale, exhala, round spine. On the next inhale, you complete the fifth one. You're going to lift up. If you're tired, you can take a break in child's pose. Beginning with challenge, make sure you have your alignment, the legs straight. And when you're ready, if the right leg's straight, then the left arm is going to come forward into shooting arrow. Te quedas y extiendes como una flecha. Longitud en tu cuerpo. Tonificación del glúteo. You're toning your glutes. Breathe. Move up. Extend up. Keep breathing. Look out forward. Find your drishti. Take another inhale. On the exhale, you bring your hand down. You bring the knee down. Don't think about it. Just go for the other side. Inhalo. El otro lado inmediatamente. Izquierdo atrás. De nuevo, asegúrate del alineamiento de tu cadera, que esté paralelo, pierna estirada. Y cuando puedas, brazo derecho al frente. Left leg, back, right arm into shooting arrow. Try not to sink on the shoulder. Lift up. Where is your breath? This is when you remember you have one and put it in. Aquí es cuando te acuerdas de que respiras y respiras hondo y profundo. Drishti, balance. Take another inhale. And on the exhale, you put your hand down. You put the knee back to the ground. Careful of the knees, please. You can put your cushion. If the knees are in distress, you go down into child's pose. If you don't need the cushion, without the cushion, rest in child's. <sighs> Stay down into child's pose. Hands can be down underneath your forehead or maybe block if you don't touch the ground. Arms along the body. Whatever variation of child's you like. En el niño, las caderas se van atrás hacia tu cadera. Puedes poner una mano arriba de la otra. Puño arriba de puño, frente arriba de los puños. O brazos a lo largo del cuerpo. Cualquier variación que te guste, sigue ese niño. Y como mariposa es lo mismo aquí, hay flexión y opresión en tu vientre, entonces respiras en la parte de atrás de tu cuerpo. Like you experienced earlier in butterfly, in child's pose, is a flexion forward where you are squeezing internal organs. So it's easier to breathe on the back body. So fill up low back, mid back, and upper back of air. And exhale, letting go. <sighs> Keep on breathing, sigue respirando. Good. And now, uh, when you're ready, we're going to bring our hands underneath the shoulders and come up quickly, just for a moment, up to kneeling position. Everybody here, we're going to do our first downer facing dog. If you're a truly beginner and you've never done this before, please do not get discouraged and not get scared. This with time, soon will get better. Si eres un beginner, un principiante de verdad, Vamos a hacer perro, y perro pues es una posición que si eres nuevo a yoga, pues la verdad, la primera vez se impone. No te preocupes, con práctica se pone mejor cada vez. Never going to downer facing dog with your hands underneath the shoulders. That will be too short, so the hands need to move forward and forward. If you can see here, you have almost like a 45 degree angle from your shoulder to your hand. Look to your hands and uh, make sure they're shoulder width apart and plant your hand on the ground. And don't only rest the heel of the palm, you gotta activate the entire palm. 
no te vas a ir nada más a las muñecas, vas a activar tu mano completa en el suelo. Then when you're ready, right here, let me set, me bring my headset down so it doesn't fall. You're going to tuck the toes under and lift the knees slowly on the next inhale of the ground. And let's begin with this variation of bend knees down dog. So on the next inhale, you're going to extend the legs to traction back a bit. On the exhale, you're going to bend your knees a little. On the inhale, you're going to bring the legs straight a bit. On the exhale, bend the knees a little. Inhalo, extiendo, hago tracción hacia atrás. Exhalo, doblo rodillas poquito. And last time, inhale up. Keep the legs as straight as you can. And on the exhale, continue with the traction back. If I feel my hamstrings are pulling too hard, bend your knees. Si siento que mis isquiotibiales me están jalando de más, dobla las rodillas. Si mis muñecas duelen, baja, pero si el dolor es soportable y solo es como estiramiento, entonces continúa. If my wrist hurt too much, you come down immediately. But if it's just a pain that is letting me know, I haven't used them in a while and you can handle it, and it's not dangerous, then stay. Relax the head, stretch, stretch, stretch. And don't worry if your down dog is more like this right now. We time and stretch your shoulders, your spine, your back will go back slowly. And now from here, we're going to switch into Uttatasana. Tiny little steps, pequeños pasos hacia el frente. Good. And when you feel safe, bend the knees. Little steps with your hands, pequeños pasos hacia atrás con tus manos. Until the weight can switch to your feet, hasta que el peso pueda estar en tus pies. Now, right here, you're going to relax the head. And if you're here because flexibility is not there, especially if you haven't stretched for a while, bench your knees and that will let the torso go down. Si por acá estás arriba, porque andamos un poquito apretados, porque no estiras, dobla tus rodillas para que pueda bajar el torso. Capichel with each hand, a little bit more relaxing in here. Do you have high blood pressure and you're not on meds? This is a little bit pushing it. Maybe come up higher before the knees. Si tienes presión alta y no estás en medicamento, a lo mejor no te quedes aquí mucho tiempo porque la presión obviamente se va para abajo. If you have low blood pressure, though, this is one of the best asanas you can do. Por el otro lado, la gente con presión baja. Esta es una de las mejores posturas que puedes hacer. It really helps bringing fresh blood down. Stretch. Now, how to get up? A lot of people do, uh, do ragdoll. Mucha gente sube de aquí haciendo como muñequita de trapo arriba. I'm going to show you a safer way. Te voy a mostrar una manera un poquito más, pies más juntitos. Bring your hands on the shins. Vas a mandar tus manos a las espinillas. Inhalo. Vamos a subir un poquito. Mitad arriba. You're going to go up halfway. So you look this beautiful 90 degree angle. On the exhale, deep flexion on your knees. Flexión profunda en tus rodillas. Make sure that the knees are not doing this. This is bad. So you got to look here. And now bring your hands in prayer. Fears. Ukatasana. So you look like this right now. Lift the heart and the chest. Make sure the knees are fine. And if you want a little bit more, pick up your arms. Levantas tus brazos. Side profile right now. Sitting down. Open variación avanzada. Brazos arriba. Keep on breathing. Now contract everything between the glutes, thighs, belly, and pelvic floor. Contrais todo. Glúteos, piernas y abdomen. And inhale. Lift up, and on the exhale, bring your hands down. Okay, I'm going to adjust the screen as I go into standing so you can see my arms. Good. Now, right here, a little bit down so you can see my feet too. Good. You're going to put the weight into the right leg. Vamos a poner el peso en tu pierna derecha. 
Lo que tú adriste, vamos a ver un punto de balance al frente tuyo. Something still and not moving. And you're going to bring now the left toes on the ground and the left heel inside the leg, doing a very beginner tree pose. Te quedas aquí haciendo la versión más principiante de árbol. El peso en la pierna derecha, pie izquierdo ligerito en el suelo. Now, the next step into your trishti, you can stay here, will be foot going up into your calf. El siguiente paso sería con tu pie adentro en la pantorrilla. You keep breathing, continue on. Sigue respirando. And if this is okay, maybe the foot can go above the knee, never against the knee joint. And for those ones that feel everything fine and want to push a little bit deeper, help your foot all the way up to the inner thigh. Tree pose, el árbol. Las tres variaciones, pie en el suelo. Pie en la pantorrilla, pie arriba de rodilla, o si no, hasta arriba, cerquita de tu ingle. The next inhale, you open your arms. On the exhale, let's soften up in cactus. Vamos a suavizar en cactus. Lengthening, growing nice and tall, derechitos. Inhala y exhala. Eso, take another inhale, and on the exhale, bring your hands into prayer. Release, and on the next inhale, the knee goes up. On the exhale, the foot goes down to the ground. El pie va bajo el suelo. Shake out that leg that it was your support. Vamos a dejar que la pierna se relaje. Listos, te reacomodas, drish nuevo, pie izquierdo. Left leg takes the weight and start again. The same thing to the other side, of course, breathing. Lo mismo al otro lado y, por supuesto, respirando. Hands are open, brazos abiertos. Level one, you can stay here. Level two, you can go into your calf. Nivel dos, arriba a la pantorrilla. It's absolutely normal. You feel a little bit of a sway motion as you switch to variations. Completamente normal que haya movimiento en tu árbol al irte a variaciones. Siguiente variación, arriba de rodilla, above the knee. And the more advanced foot all the way up close to your groin. La siguiente con el pie hasta arriba, el talón cerquita de la ingle. Square your hips, level them. Open the knees sideways, hands in prayer, and breathe. And if you want, you can bring your arms up. And you also can open your hands into this beautiful variation in goddess, a little bit easier. Stay with your breath. Sigues en tu respiración. Yo que la gente está siguiendo la clase, los veo conectados, desde aquí puedo ver. Y si es tu primera vez que haces árbol y te caes, no pasa nada. If it's your first time, you're connected, I can see you there. Please, don't get discouraged if you fall in and out. It's absolutely normal. Hold on. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, knee up, knee up. Exhale, the foot goes down. Soltaste. Well, you done three for the first time, but if it's your million time, each time is different. Felicidades, hiciste árbol por primera vez, pero aunque lo hagas diario, cada día va a ser diferente. Because your head is different each day. Now, taking advantage that we're into standing, I want you to see my feet a little bit better. We're going to do a little bit of a standing flows, introducing you into warriors. Introducción a Guerrero 2, Warrior 2 today. So, beginning to the center of your mat, empiezas al centro de tu mat with your hands in prayer. Open your arms, abres tus brazos, and first the right leg is going to go underneath 
the right wrist. And then being comfortable with this movement, you're going to go and do the other, making your hands to be underneath your wrist. Vamos a empezar con una pierna a la vez hasta que ambos brazos estén completamente alineados, muñeca con talón. Now, as you extend here, al extender aquí, right foot is going to move out a 90 degree angle. So your toes are pointing out. El pie derecho se abre 90 grados, los dedos apuntando hacia afuera. Heel to heel align. Tobillo a tobillo alineado o talón a talón alineado. Back heel comes in a bit. El pie de atrás se mete. According to your flexibility on your hip, you can go 30 or 45 degree. Continue with your arms open. Take a deep inhale. Inhalo. And on the exhale, bend the knee over the ankle. Vamos a doblar la rodilla sobre el talón. So if you can see me on the computer right now, the knee is quite not here, but also is not here. That will be overextending. So I'm quite comfortable having the knee and the ankle aligned. Super important on warrior. I show you closer. There it is. Please be mindful of this alignment. What if I feel pain on my knee? Well, don't bend that dip. And you can be here. Si siento dolor en rodilla, a lo mejor no doblo tanto y me voy arriba. What if I feel burning sensation on the shoulders? Absolutely normal. Stay there. Don't move. Hold on. It's absolutely okay. You're building muscle. So next time you do this, we'll feel better. ¿Qué pasa si por ahí siento dolor en mis hombros? No pasa nada. Lo único que está pasando, si es como dolor muscular del gimnasio, es que te estás poniendo fuerte. Hold on. We haven't moved yet. Good. Stay there. Inhale. Bring the legs straight. Pierna estirada. On the exhalation, let's bring your feet parallel and looking forward. And move the shoulders up and down. Hombros hacia arriba y hombros hacia abajo, soltando cualquier tensión posible de tus hombros en tu guerrero. And now, one more time, open your arms. Double check that your alignment is there. Don't close the legs that will create problems on your knee. Asegurándonos que tu alineamiento está ahí. Lo mismo al otro lado. El izquierdo se va al frente. Abre los dedos. Left foot open, 90 degree. Back heel turns 30 or 45. Heel to heel align. Talón con talón alineado. Miras al frente. Inhala y exhala. Doblas tu rodilla. Guerreros. Chécate que tu rodilla no te esté lastimando. Please do check that your knee is fine. Remember, you want the back of your leg almost parallel to the ground and the arm straight. Look forward. Otra vez, dándote aquí el alineamiento de cerquita en cómo irte en tu guerrero. Another thing that happens often is we let the chest go this way. No, 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 no. Go back, 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 back and make yourself center. Otra cosa que pasa es, nos vamos mucho hacia el frente, te quedas alineado y bajas. Fuerza, keep your arms up, hold on, hold down, feel the strength. Now, here, put attention in my shoulders. You don't want the shoulders up this way, this is too painful. No quieren los hombros hacia arriba. Bring them down and away from the ears. Hombros hacia atrás abajo, sigues en guerrero, continuum warrior. Breathe. On the next inhale, bring the legs straight. On the so right here, mine as well, as the standing is there. Ya que estás aquí parado y el alineamiento está ahí. Vamos a cerrar un poquitín. We're going to close just a bit. And here you are, ready for Trikonasana Simple. Listos para triangle. Otra vez, pie derecho, hacemos ping pong style. Se abre, right foot opens to the side. Back heel turns in a bit, 30 or 45. Soft into your pelvis, suavizas tu cadera. Fíjate este movimiento, cuanto más espacio te dio. This movement of bringing the hips back and open, how much the space is giving you. Open your arms, inhale. And on the exhale, hinge 
sideways, sideways. Try not to round your spine. If you're really a beginner, maybe your hand is quite up here. And if the hand or the shoulder is tired, you can... If you feel strong, the arm can go straight. What if my back feels spacious and I can go down, hand on the ground, arm up? Probably when you're a beginner, that won't happen right away, but with time and the body opens, it will. Si por ahí hay espacio, mano al suelo. Si eres principiante, a lo mejor no se te va a dar tan fácil. Práctica, disciplina, te va a dar la flexibilidad y la fuerza. Contract a little bit into your inner thighs, not too much. Contract your quadriceps, arm up, stomach engage, and on the next inhale, you go up, 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 up. <sighs> Exhale, hands on your waist. Soltaste, pies paralelos, feet paralelo. And we're going to do this on the other side, ping pong style. Lo vamos a hacer esto al otro lado, como ping pong. El mismo alineamiento, pie izquierdo afuera, pie de adentro, 35, 40. Left leg out now, toes pointing 90, back heel turns in. And when you're ready, open your arms, soften into your hips. Take a deep breath, inhale. And on the exhale, hinge out forward. Try not to round, try to go straight like an arrow. When you have enough in here, then you stop. Ya que sentiste demasiado aquí, entonces ya paras. Maybe find out where your leg can be with no weight. Vamos a ver dónde la pierna está a gusto y dónde aterriza la mano sin peso. And then remember variation number one. If your shoulder is tired, your hand on your waist. If you're okay, you bring your arm up. You can discover if you need to go down or you need to go up. Si quiero ir para abajo, si quiero ir para arriba. And if the flexibility is there, you might bring the hand down. Growing like a beautiful, beautiful five-pointed star. Creciendo como una estrella de cinco puntos. Contract your quads, contract your belly, contract tu cuadriceps, tus rodillas, respira. Hold on. Breathe, strong in your legs, good, don't sink, grow, no te vayas para abajo sin fuerza, al contrario, crece, sonríe, good, close the ankle, close the toe, close the ankle, and bend both knees at the same time. Vamos a cerrar un poquito tobillos, pies, tobillos, pies y vamos a doblar. How is your back? ¿Cómo está tu espalda? Otra vez me subo mi camisa. You're not here. This will hurt your knees. Your flexors are in and you open your lower back so you're down. This is called double warrior or goddess. Beautiful to strengthen your quads. Beautiful to strengthen your legs. Beginner yoga, remember, is not therapeutic. It's not gentle. You can tune in to other classes. Beginner yoga is simple yoga with tons of alignment, so you learn. Las posiciones de yoga eh, principiante no son terapéuticas o sutiles. Es hatha yoga con mucha explicación. Entonces, es normal que estés con reto. Nice. How are the legs? Good. <sighs> Sit down a little bit deeper if the knees allow you. Hands in prayer. Push his hand with each other. Vamos a hacer que una palma tenga resistencia con la otra para trabajar pectorales. Endurance, endurance, beautiful. On the next inhale, we're going to bring those legs straight, straight, straight. <sighs> And on the exhale, bring your hands down. For the last time, open your heels. Por la última vez, vas a abrir tus talones. So you're wide again. And now I want to show you a side profile as you go down. You're going to put your hands on your back. Take a deep inhale. Inhalamos. Piernas abiertas. Exhala, te vas al frente. Al frente y abajo. Go forward, forward and down. Wide leg apart. Prasarita. If you've never done before this asana, perhaps you're way up here. 
good moment to put your block good moment to find some help if you cannot touch the ground and if you're touching the ground take a deep inhale come up halfway levantas mitad arriba estoy aquí es mitad arriba hola you should be able to see me in halfway exhalo vamos a bajar y vamos a respirar aquí cinco veces haciendo colgante back of your legs this is almost restful of course unless there is a lot of tightness on your hamstrings it won't be as restful you can bend your knees breathe <sighs> going whatever variation you need to hold Now, how to get up? You're gonna get up with tons of muscle, tons of awareness, so you don't hurt your back. ¿Cómo te vas a levantar? Con mucho, mucha atención en tus músculos, que la fuerza muscular te ayude. Primero, manos abajo de hombros, hands underneath the shoulders, come up halfway. You should be able to see me again. Bend your knees just a bit to put some quads. Engage the quads, engage the glutes. Pones músculo en tu cuadricep, en tu glúteo, una mano a la vez atrás, one hand at the time. Feel your feet and on the next inhale, tons and tons of support taking you up, 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 arriba, 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 arriba. Exhalo, centro. Very good. So right here, closing toe, ankle, toe, ankle, toe, ankle. Shake your legs. Ooh. Relax your legs, move your pelvis in circles, relaja las piernas y te mueves un poquito la pelvis en círculos. If you're not used to long standing flows, this was a beginner flow to get strong in your legs. Este fue un, eh, una secuencia paraditos para ayudarte en tus piernas. Okay. Now, how are we going to get down? Sequencing in beginners is very important. ¿Cómo vamos si estamos parados a llegar otra vez al suelo? Now, from chair, you're going to go forward, making that chair that 90 degree angle. And if you can see, you're very close to the ground. En esa silla te bajaste 90 grados con el pecho y ya tienes cerquita el suelo. Now, plant one hand in front of you and now the other. Good. Bend the knees as much as you need to, to do this. Now, bring one leg behind you and now the other. And voila, you're in downer facing dog. Ya estás en perro boca abajo otra vez. Which is going to feel really good after the standing flow. Going to child's pose if you're tired. But a niño, si estás cansado, we're going to head there anyways in one more moment. Ya vamos para allá en un momentito más. Take a deep inhale, bring the knees down. Balasana, child's pose. Exhale, buttocks to your heels, forehead on the ground, and stay down. Te quedas abajo en niño, respiras cinco veces. Please stay there. I'm going to get up from water. You hold in there. <sighs> Five more breaths in your child's pose. <sighs> Keep on breathing. Sigue respirando. Are you doing great? Okay, so now we're going to roll all the way up into kneeling position to the end of our class. Ya casi acabamos. Going up, up, up into kneeling position. I'll be there in a moment. Good. And now to not put stress, just lower to your side. Shake your legs in front of you. Relax your legs. Shake your legs. Okay. The last part is going to be in our back. La última parte va a ser en nuestra espalda. Before that, a little bit of Navasana bow pose. Bring the feet close to each other and come up into this 90 degree angle. This is a great variation if you're a beginner. Holding the legs. Very normal if you feel this shaking sensation if you're not used to putting a little bit more emphasis on your belly. Absolutamente normal. Si te sientes un poquito inestable, si nunca le has puesto tensión a tu estómago, holding there. Lift chest, levantas pecho, postura, y si quieres puedes soltar brazos. If you want, you can release the arms. 
come down at any time if you need to. All your muscular energy connected, growing nice and tall. Toda tu fuerza, tu energía muscular conectada. Te levantas, te levantas. Eso. Inhalo. And on the exhale, bring yourself down and continue working your abs. Vertebra by vertebra, going down, down, and slowly. Okay. Hug the knees to chest. Rest your back, inhale. Exhale, forehead up. Rise. Good. We haven't twist much yet, so I always love to finish with a twist. Simple two knees twist. Open your knees, take a deep inhale, arms open like a T position on the exhale. Allow the knees to come to the right, right hand to the top knee, and you look to the left. Rodillas se van hacia tu lado derecho, miras hacia el lado izquierdo y el hombro izquierdo abajo en el piso. And breathe here, four, five. Cinco respiraciones. There is contraindications as a fuse back. Try not to twist. You can do anything else in your back you like. Si tienes espalda fusionada o hernias, a la mejor torsión no es la mejor opción, haz otra cosa. Now bring the knees up to center. Inhale, rodillas al centro. And on the exhale, let the knees go to the other side. Vamos a soltar las rodillas al otro lado. Here you have perfect view of how you want your shoulder you don't want the shoulder to lift off the ground. You want your shoulder on the ground. Looking into the opposite side, to the right side that the legs are. Vamos a mirar hacia el lado derecho. Top hand on the knee. Vamos a mandar la mano a la rodilla. And breathe five times. This is the last asana before Shavasana. Respiro. This is like your pre-chavasana. This is como tu pre-chavasana. I always like to play with Spanish and English. If you will say with English accent, it will be chavasana. In Mexico, it's la chavasana. Breathe. I usually will miss your faces. Smiling, hope you're smiling at home. Hopefully this is warming up your heart. Usualmente les veo sus caritas felices, esperando que todos estén sonriendo, sintiéndose acompañados. Let's go back, inhale, into center, de regreso al centro. And on the exhale, last time, forehead up to the knees. In this position, Never let the shoulders go up, the shoulders stay down. Take another inhale, and on the exhale, we go down, down, down into the final rest. You never done yoga before, if this is a beginner's class, this is called Shavasana. And you lie down on your back. Arms by your sides, legs nice and heavy. Si nunca has hecho yoga, la última final se llama relajación. Y se trata del arte de enseñarte a no hacer nada. El arte de descansar, de soltar, the art of relaxation is the art of practicing letting go and just being. <sighs> Rest your mind. A 
descansa tu mente. Rama, Rama, Ole, relax, relájate. if you need longer shavasanas you're at home you're the boss we're just guiding si necesitas una relajación más grande acuérdate que tú eres el jefe de tu práctica te quedas donde estás you're ready to come out move your hands and fingers y ya estás listo para regresar con estas manos y tus pies when you're ready bring to your chest, squeeze them nice and deep, press your back, she tuck in slightly, roll to the right side, and carefully, let's come up to closing, oh, good, Hi. Hands into prayer, manos al pecho. Gratitude, gratitude to your body. Gratefulness that you have the hell to try something new if this is your first class. Please share the class to whomever you can share it. This is a very friendly link to follow for somebody that is new. Um, Shanti Shanti nos despedimos hasta la próxima Namaste thanks for joining